today let us discuss about a new topic and also the shortcut and the previous year problem asked in NEET 2013 I think okay we will solve one problem also we will create a short trick first so uh, to make you understand this let us go ahead and uh, discuss about the topic which is called as magnetic moment so uh, what do you mean by this magnetic moment magnetic moment is nothing but it is a product of pole strength and the distance between the two poles because as these two poles are on the either side of the magnet which is a bar magnet here you will measure the length from this side and write it as L and this side and write it as L here so the distance between the two poles is taken as 2L here and magnetic moment is a product of any one of the pole strengths you know what is the meaning of pole strength strength of the pole either to attract or to repel is called as uh, strength of the pole so we can write the formula for magnetic moment as this implies that magnetic moment is nothing but 2 lm but this same magnet when it is bent in the form of an arc then what happens the definition of magnetic moment is same here but the magnetic moment for the new magnet is taken as m dash for the old magnet which is was in the form of a straight line is taken as m so the same magnet when you bend in the form of an arc this distance is going to be 2l but this distance if you observe let us let us consider this distance as d from here and d from here so uh, you know the definition of magnetic moment it is a product of pole strength of the magnet any one of the pole strength of the magnet and the distance between the two poles here the distance between the two poles is taken as 2d now if you take uh, the angle total angle between this arc which is taken as theta here you all know in mensuration of geometry arc is equal to radius into angle arc is equal to radius into angle here arc is the same magnet bent in the form of an arc so this arc is 2L and let us imagine the radius is R and the angle total angle of for the total arc is theta and you can take theta as 2L by R or you can also consider R is equal to 2L by theta also but let us see here now uh, as this is theta so if you divide this arc into half this is theta by 2 and this is theta by 2 and from the middle this distance is D from this distance is also D here so now let us write now here if you understand this what is going to happen let us see you all know that sin theta by 2 is nothing but opposite side D and hypotenuse R then you can take D as R sin theta by 2 but what is R here R is nothing but 2L by theta R is nothing but 2L by theta here you write 2L by theta and this is sine theta by 2 so instead of d here can you substitute this value now it's that's it some simple so this is nothing but m 2 you take before and instead of d you will write 2l sine theta by 2 whole divided by theta but this theta should be in radians that you have to remember here now so now m dash is equal to 2 you common out 2l into small m sin theta by 2 whole divided by theta in radians that you have to remember you all know 2lm is nothing but the old magnetic moment is m so therefore m dash is nothing but 2m sin theta by 2 whole divided by theta so for example let us take this arc is making angle 90 degrees then what happens if it is making 180 degrees then what happens if it is making 60 degrees then what happens so let us take first example if theta is taken as pi that means the magnet is bent in the form of a semicircle making an angle theta is, theta is equal to 180 sorry 180 which is taken as pi here so therefore m dash is equal to uh, 2m sine 180 by 2 which is nothing but sine 90 sin 180 by 2 because theta is 180 half of that is 90 and theta should be written in the form of radians because uh, 180 degrees is equal to pi radians so instead of 
180 we have to write pi in the denominator and sin 90 is going to be 1 therefore the new magnetic moment is nothing but 2m by pi similarly for example the arc is bent in the form of uh, what is said to be 90 degrees if theta is 90, 90 degrees what happens here let us see so in the second case here if theta is 90 degrees and this 90 is nothing but half of 180 which is taken as pi by 2 therefore the new magnetic moment is going to be 2m uh, half sin theta by 2 is half of 90 which is sin 45 degrees uh, divided by theta which is pi by 2 here so pi by 2 so therefore new magnetic moment is 2 uh, in the numerator and this 2 also comes to the numerator that is 4 4m and uh, sin 45 can be taken as 1 by root 2 so therefore root 2 this is 4m in the numerator, 4 into 4, 2 into 2, 4m in the numerator, sin 45 is 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2 is coming in the denominator and this is pi. So if you take this 4 as 2 into 2, this is taken as root 2 and this is root 2 times it goes. So therefore the new magnetic moment for this is going to be uh, 2 root 2 m by pi. So 2 root 2 m by pi with theta is going to be 90 degrees. Hope you have understood. Thank you very much.